Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Uncle P from Super Easy Forex, and this is uh, our Cha Ching Cha Ching Sunday. And in this short, this is going to be a very short video, um, but I got another important video that I'm going to be doing this week for those who's trading the prop firm. I'm going to give you a different way of looking at prop firms as an eye opener so that you won't constantly be uh, bamboozled in that arena. Okay, so make sure that you're looking out for my video that's coming up this week on prop firms. Uh, I'm going to continue to do them as I'm testing them out and stuff like that. I don't give endorsements on any, but I will give you a general idea about what to look for so that if you're going to pursue prop firm challenges, you'll know what uh, trap doors to be paying attention to. Okay, all right. There's plenty of good ones out there, but there's some sketchy ones as well. So either way it goes, I just want to make sure that you're aware of the trap doors that are generally set to make sure that you don't succeed in that arena. And so by me exposing those things, it'll hopefully help you to see with a new, a new eye uh, what is really going on and why they're so popular, why they're popping up all over the place, and which ones that don't do the things that I talk about my videos will be the ones you should go ahead and do uh, business with, even if they cost a little bit more than the less expensive ones that are inviting you in with low cost, but maybe there's some trap doors that you don't know about. Okay, so either way it goes, I'm going to do another video this week, so make sure you're looking out for it. It's going to be one of the most important ones about prop firms to help you reshape your thinking process about what you're actually getting when you do do prop firm challenges, okay? I'll say nothing else about that for now. Hopefully, you like my new background. Um, uh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, so anyway, uh, here's the deal. Um, in this video, we're going to cover what news events are coming up. Uh, for this coming week, you've seen our numbers in the thumbnail. Uh, last week was eight and four, but in the live trade session, uh, they did over 6,500 pips. And as I had show, uh, explained in the last video, and I've been saying this for God knows how many years now, um, if the reason why we don't give exact numbers when it comes to the signal side of the business is because we have a lot of people who's receiving our signals and therefore when I was trying to give exact numbers like other, other uh, signal providers were doing, what happens is, is that we was getting pushback saying, oh, but uh, you know, if I send out a signal for 40 pips and I make 40 pips on the trade because I sent it out, I say, here's the parameters, here's the buy and sell and you stop loss and you take profit, here's what you need to do. Well, it depends on who took the trade and at what time. So if a person took the trade right away, Chances are they probably get the same 40 pips as I did. If they took it five minutes later, they may get 35 pips because the market is continuously moving. It does not stop and wait for you to say, oh, Uncle P sent out a signal, uh, but John is hasn't woken up yet. So let's wait five minutes before we make a move. Wait for John. Wait for John. Wait for John. Okay, now John has taken signal. Now let's move. The market doesn't work that way. So therefore, if John comes in five minutes later and take it, he may get 35 pips. But if Susie takes it 10 minutes later, she may only get 25 pips. Who knows? But the point is, when you send out that report, then people say, oh, you're not telling the truth because I didn't get 40 pips. I only got 25 pips. Well, what time did you take the trade? See what I'm saying? So yes, you're profitable, but you may not take it at the exact same time. Does that make sense? Okay. But the flip side of our business model is if you're in the live sessions, because you do get signals plus live sessions. If you're in the live sessions, we can give an exact number because everyone in there is taking the signals at the exact same time in a live session with Miss Jenny. So when we say that there's 6,500 pips with a 100% win rate this last week, that is completely accurate because everyone took the trades at the exact same time and they did not have any losses. So yes, they made 6,500 pips as a group, or, and it may be more than that, but I'm just giving you the ballpark figure, 6,500 pips plus a 100% win rate. And there is no debating it because everyone in there was live taking it at the exact same time. So do you see why I, when I do my reports, I give a general win loss number for the signal side when we just send out regular signals but on the live side 
when you're in a live session twice a week with Miss Jenny, yes, I can give you the exact numbers because, and there's nobody who can refute it, call us a con or a scam because you're there live taking the trade. When she says, okay, I think I'm entering here, you can enter at the exact same moment. And therefore the numbers are very, very crisp, clean, and very accurate. Okay. So if one service, one part of it doesn't fit your taste buds, then just go over to the live session and there you go. So problem solved. Okay. All right. So, uh, we did eight and four last week, but 6,500 in the live session. So that's still overall will keep you very, very profitable every single week with us. If you choose to use our service. Now let's get into, uh, the, uh, news events for this week. All right. So I'm going to switch. And let's take a look at it. So here's the deal. When you're looking at Euro news, it's very important for you to understand that the Euro is broken down into Euro zones. So a lot of these will not, you'll see repeated news events for the same thing in Euro. But the reason why is because, like for an example, uh, they have Euro uh, coming out with inflation numbers. But see, this is for Italy. Do you get what I'm saying? It's in the Euro zone, but it's for Italy. Then you have inflation coming back out again on Thursday, but this is for Germany and for France. So therefore you'll constantly keep seeing the same repeated news events for Euro, which is what I told you guys. I told you guys that the Euro and the USD are the two currencies that get the most amount of news every single week, which is why they're not my actual favorite pairs to trade. Uh, I do trade them, don't get me wrong, but they're not my favorite pair to trade because they get so much news on them. Now, to my students who know this, you already know that this is why I recommend the times that I tell you to trade the euros, okay? Wait until after that London session, wait about an hour or two, let all that news pass as much as possible. There still may be some more news coming in afterwards, but not so much. But you really want to wait until after all this news stuff has gone by, and then at that point, you can move forward and do your thing, okay? Feeling safe that the news is out of the way for the euro. Why? Because it gets hit like meteors with all these different repeated news events because it has so many euro zones, Italy, France, Germany, blah, blah, blah. Uh, uh, and so, you know, that's the reason why you see that. All right, so let's get through this. Now, normally I don't pay attention to this person, but I notice that sometimes when this person, President Lagarde, uh, I hope I said the name correctly. When this person speaks, it depends on what they say. Okay. Just like if President Biden had spoke, it depends on what he's talking about. So it's worthy to at least pay attention to the fact that this is a possibility that it could cause some uh, jerks in the market for the Eurozone. So just be aware of that. And that's going to happen on Monday and Tuesday. It, this is, in my opinion, similar to Fed Chairman Powell, who's going to be talking on Thursday on Wednesday and Thursday, okay? So they testify before Congress about what their future plans are and why they're doing what they do and stuff like that. And if they say something that is crazy or lends information towards future interest rate moves, then yeah, the market tends to move off of this person's speech. But if they just talk in general, cat, 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 then the market tends to just ignore it, okay? So just be aware that it's there on that day, okay? Then, but, but here's what you do have to pay attention to, uh, is the CAD. CAD is coming out with their inflation numbers on Tuesday, so make sure to pay attention to that. There's a lot of, and I did look at the charts, there's a lot of good setups uh, that are uh, coming together for the CAD pairs, the Euro CAD, AUD CAD, NZD CAD, GBP CAD, USD CAD. So you got almost all pairs that has an attachment to the CAD that you can actually trade. And just like the JPY, oftentimes they'll all move in one direction or they're all moving in another. And right now the CAD is strong. So a lot of the pairs were having pullbacks in the markets on the CAD, but this inflation numbers could cause it to jump a bit, not saying that it will personally and permanently change the uh, trend direction, but it can make during that news event, it can make it jump on Tuesday. So just be aware of that if you're in, uh, looking for some CAD setups. OK, all right. Next, we have durable goods. This is more affecting the uh, stock market or those who's trading the U.S. 30. Um, a lot of people are trading the U.S. 30, the NASDAQ, and the S&P 500 on your MT4. If you're doing that, be aware of that, okay? And we talked about the inflation numbers for Euro. Uh, I'm sorry, for Euro. Uh, this is on Italy. Then we have Fed Chairman Powell. Now, this 
one I'm really not that concerned about because we've already been testifying for a while. And because he's already been testifying already, I don't think that he has anything more important to say at this point. Um, so, but you know, it's still there just to be aware. And then on Thursday, you have again, this is, uh, Germany and France, I believe. Germany or France or both of them uh, that's going to be coming up with their inflation numbers. Now, Germany and France is a little bit bigger uh, of an economy. So this may shake the markets a little bit. Uh, some of these that come out for the Eurozone, they're small countries that nobody, they're not a global power. So like for an example, Italy, we do business with Italy, uh, but the point is it's not such a market mover because it doesn't really, it's not that big to where, uh, it will impact our economy and other people's economies. It, when they come out with their inflation numbers, it typically would be, and this is just my opinion, do your own research. Okay. I'm not an expert. I'm just telling you what I perceive. I don't think it's as big as Germany or, you know, or the actual year, uh, London's or something like that. In my opinion, it's not as big as the USD is coming out with their inflation numbers or the CAD. It's, I believe it's a little bit smaller. So the impact of the meteor hit of its news won't be as impactful as what you would normally see with uh, another currency pair. Okay. So just want to be, a, want you to be aware of that. Okay. All right. So that's the news for this week. Again, be aware that I'm going to be coming up with that news, um, with that video. Oh, hold on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, what about? Uh, excuse me. <laughs> I'm going to be coming up with that video coming up this week on uh, something else that I discovered about prop firms because I do try out several of them, pros and cons, and I do use, you know, try to pass the prop firm challenges, but it's not just about passing prop firm challenges. It's, I'm documenting and paying attention to their response time to my questions, customer service, uh, and many other things that people don't, you know, they're so enticed by, oh, I can get a $25,000 account. I can get a 50000 100000 and you're putting the money up and you're just blindly going in because you're enticed by the amount of money you can trade. This one is going to be a big eye opener for you guys. Uh, I think I wish it sh I, I wish I would have known about this and and did it earlier because it may have helped a lot of you guys out. But either way it goes when it's done, it's done. So this week it'll be done. Okay. All right. Talk to you guys soon.